So my name is Raja Azdin Shafinas, Binti Raja Aznil, and I'm from Malaysia. And where do you live now? Now I live in Auburn. When did you migrate to Australia? I came in 2016, May. And how old were you at the time? I was almost 31 at that time, yeah. Could you tell us the reasons for leaving Malaysia? Um, I got married to a Pakistani Australian, so we decided to move over here and start a family over here. And you met him in Malaysia? Yeah, he was working in Malaysia before. Do you remember how you prepared for your move for the trip? Um, it was more like preparing for um, a wedding, you know, like getting all the things ready. So, yeah, it was more of kind of for, for that reason, yeah. Did you get married in Malaysia or in Australia? No, we got married over here because uh, the um, the whole process was taking like a, such a long period. And it was really important to me that I get <clears throat> that I got married on the 2nd of May because it was my dad's birthday. So that's why I was I said let's just wrap everything up and let's just do it in Sydney. That's great. Yeah. Um could you tell us a little bit about your journey? Did you just come straight forward on the plane? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a quick decision. It was getting close to the second of me. It was really important for me. So, and my whole family was like, okay, we support any decision you make. So it was a quick one. Yeah, quick and easy. And where did you arrive in, in Sydney? In Sydney, yeah. Yeah, straight to Sydney. And where did you, where did you live after you arrived? Uh, at first we stayed in Parramatta for a while. And then we um, got a house in Auburn. That's great. Do you, um, can you tell us how it's different living in Australia from living in Kuala Lumpur? In Kuala Lumpur, well, very different actually. Over here, the honestly, people are like family over here. That That's the first thing I realised. Everybody was really nice. Um, in KL, it's, it's not... Um, because I was working over there, because I've got I got married over here, and over here I'm a housewife, and like every single person I meet is like, it's like a friend or a family. This is the thing about Australia; everybody's really nice. And in Malaysia, it's like because I was working, so it's it's more of like you know doing the things that I have to do every single day rather than over here. It's like me doing for other people. Yeah, that, that's the huge difference that I see for myself. Mm. What work were you doing? Um, I had a home-based business. I was doing uh, tailoring and designing for a few years. Yeah, So I was doing it until I came here. Are you mm. not doing any tailoring or design? No, no not, 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 not anymore. I just, I just started painting a few months ago, but that's about it. Tell us about your family, about your own family. Okay, my family, um, there's my mom and my younger sister. My dad passed away in 2002. I was 17, and my mom raises as um, a single parent to me and my younger sister. Are they um, still in Malaysia? Yeah, they're both still in Malaysia, yes. And you now have a family of your own? Over here? Um, I have my mom's cousins. Yeah, I do have a few aunties. I'm not really close with them, but yeah, it, it's good, yeah. And your daughter? Yeah, she's... Um, she just turned two yesterday. Uh, she was born over here in Westmead Hospital, premature. Um, yeah. What's her name? Her name is Sumaya. What um, do you like about her? Her voice. Yeah, she doesn't stop talking. <laughs> Can she say words yet? Yeah, she says no a lot, no to everything, and okay, and yeah, and her curly hair. Uh, I love her curly hair. Do you speak to her in English? Yes, English and Malay. Mm. And my husband speaks to her in Urdu. Mm. So yeah. she's going to be trilingual? Yeah, hopefully. That's very <laughs> good. Let's talk about the objects that you have next to you. Um, tell us about the painting. So this painting is from um, a picture that I took um, during my last visit in KL. So this is a street called um, Jalan Ampang. So from here you can see KLCC, KL Tower and um, this is actually around midnight and the thing about KL is that there's traffic 24 hours non-stop so this is traffic piling up during midnight in the middle of KL. 
does it remind you of home? Is that why you're painting it? Uh, yeah, most definitely. KLCC especially because while it was building, while it was still under construction, my dad was a um, site supervisor to one of the other skyscrapers that was um, also in that um, golden triangle. So he used to bring us and my, me and my sister to the site. So we would play around in his office, the, um, the site offices. We would play with the stray cats over there. So it, it was sort of like our playground when growing up. You know. Is that your father in the photograph? Yeah, this is my father. I, I'm not sure how old he was or when was this year, but this is, looks really old. And it's in his yeah. office? Mm, yep, sketching on his sketching table. Are the mm. pictures of your father important to you? Very, very much. Because I know that I get the, all this love of drawing and all my art side comes from him. And then you have the Polaroid there as well? Yeah, so my dad gave this picture to me. I'm not sure how he got it, um, but yeah, it was during one of his working days. So, yeah. And why do you think it's important to share these objects and your story with? Because I want to show the before and after of um, of basically of our home. So this is like, I think about 20 years ago. This is KLTC during the construction and this is about in February. <laughs> and when, yeah. it's, when the painting is going to be finished, what are you going to do with it? Well, well I hope it's gonna be in a nice home. Are you gonna keep it in your own home? Yeah. I'm gonna like have a special place for it because it's a it's a really special painting. Yeah.